So Tropical Ecos makes this vivarium, which is about 39 gallons, and it uses these uh, half inch by half inch by quarter inch magnets to hold a quarter inch glass to um, a quarter inch glass, or about a half inch of glass in between two magnets. And there's magnets on both sides, as you can see. Uh, this sits on top of just a little shelf here of um, metal. And I didn't like this uh, quite that much just because right here uh, is a little corner where fruit flies can get through. Um, but it's a pretty good system as it is. And it's easy to just come over here and uh, open and close when you need to. And um, it's pretty solid. So I decided to use the same thing to build my vivariums. And uh, I am using um, in one eighth inch of glass, which I bought, it's about a 12 inches by 11 inches for a dollar at um, Ken's Glass and Mirrors. And uh, it's being held against a 3 16th uh, piece of glass. Now the magnets are half inch by half inch by one eighth. And uh, well, they hold pretty well as well. Um, it's sitting on top of what was supposed to be a piece of um, like uh, plastic that's made to connect two, piece, two pieces of uh, a quarter inch glass together. And I just, I just cut a little bit off so you can hear. Let me just move this over. Hope this guy's not a little mad at me here. But let me just move that over. And uh, as you can see, I just kind of cut a little bit of it off there so that there was only this bottom here to hold everything in place. And um, basically, you know, this, this piece of glass can, can come off at any time. I'll just take it off and uh, he's probably not too happy that I'm doing that. And uh, I can just put it back on again. So, uh, you know, I like it. Works for me. And uh, I just didn't want to reinvent the wheel. Um, I hadn't been able to find any living hinges at the time. And now that I have, I'm thinking about trying to replace that bottom. The problem is that I really like this system because right now um, air vents through here and just right out of the bottom. The only thing I've had a problem with is because these guys have been jumping around so much, all of this water comes down here gets on this edge and sometimes slides down here and uh, gets underneath the vivarium. So I've been putting these sponges in here to, to soak it up right now and that seems to be working out pretty well.